to Rod's Reviews and Demos. Appreciate you all checking in and clicking on the link. So we're here with the Samsung Giga Party Audio. This is the T70. This is the largest one they sell. Uh, runs 679 bucks. You can pair it with multiple other units or any of the party audio Samsung makes can be paired with it. Uh, it will be stereo if you pair two of them together. It has a 10 inch sub on it and this is where the speaker falls apart for me. It has a 10 inch sub and the bass I think should be pretty low and it's not. It's not as low as my little 8 inch LG speaker I have. Um, Subwoofers generally will go a lot lower, but they don't shake the house as much. I like the shake, and I, and I like low bass, and this thing just, just didn't cut it for me when I was playing with it. It's still a nice speaker. It's, it's pretty looking. The lights are very subdued. They're not real crazy. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of features. It has extra bass. It does have an app where you can control the lighting and the music, and it has some DJ sounds and stuff it'll make. Uh, has two mic connections. Both of those have independent volumes and an echo you can add to the mics. Uh, I'll, I'll bring the camera around and show you all that on the speaker. Uh, it's not a bad speaker, but for 679 bucks, for me, no way. Uh, it is nice that you can pair two together and get stereo, LG, at least so far you can't do that. Uh, but you can with this thing. I just, I just wish the bass was better. If it wasn't for that, I would say the speaker's worth it. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, the sound comes out from both sides. So it does fill the room pretty nice. A and the sound quality is good. It's clear. Uh, it just doesn't have that rocket bass that I love. Now, you may not like the rocket bass, so maybe it's the speaker for you. But for me, I like the rocking bass. I want the house shaking. I want to hit some real low notes. And uh, the speaker just doesn't quite do it. I did try to find the frequency response for the speaker, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I checked the website, I checked the manual, I checked everywhere. So I'm not sure what the low end is on the response. But uh, it definitely is not as low as the LG OK models, and surely not as low as the JBLs go. So we're going to just demo the audio a little bit. I already have a couple videos up with, with audio on the speaker. Uh, that you'll be able to, you can check out and listen to that. I did regular music, music, and I did YouTube approved music. So there's two videos there with with audio you guys can watch. I'll play it a little bit, show you some of the lights, uh, show you the features on the thing. It weighs 55 pounds. It does not have wheels on it, uh, which is another thing I don't like. All the larger speakers generally come with wheels. Uh, but this guy doesn't have it. 55 pounds is pretty heavy. So uh, that's that's a little bit of a downfall for this speaker. Uh, it comes with the remote. It, it, you can control the DJ effects on here. You know, skip ahead a song, skip back. You can control the bass. And you can control the light settings. You can also select, you know, from the USB ports to the Bluetooth and all that. It doesn't do a ton of stuff, but it does have a remote. Remotes are always nice, I think. So, without further ado, let's play with the speaker. Today's cocktail, Jägerbomb. Obviously, it's one of my favorites. Okay, so this is the top of the Samsung uh, T70 Giga Party Audio. As you can see, it's got a handy-dandy groove there to hold your phone or your tablet. Uh, if your phone has a case on it, it won't fit in the little slot here, but it seems to fit, uh, it seems to fit off to the side here. I got an otter box on my phone uh, for durability, so it does fit in there. Uh, I also have the app up on the phone, as you can see. And basically, you can control, there's DJ tunes that, you know, little noises it'll make, and the light settings are here also. Uh, you can kind of put the color wherever you want it. I hate this instructions. There's different modes, party mode. You see it changes color, dance mode, thunderbolt, and star, whatever that is. So the lights aren't real extravagant. Uh, basically what you have is the woofer is lit up in there. And then you have lights that come out of the bottom of the speaker. Uh, so nothing real crazy going on with the lighting. 
Uh, controls wise, you got obviously your power button, your play button, your volume, bass up, bass down, the settings, and this is to change your connection. We're going to stick with the Bluetooth, obviously. Uh, settings is the light settings. We'll leave it on party because I like the party. Uh, then you got bass. You have off or on. That's it. There's no, there's not more than two level or more than one level on the bass boost. So then on to, uh, and again, I said, like I said, the sound comes out of both sides here off the front and you can see this thing's pretty steeply angled. So, uh, it fills the room pretty good. Bring it around the back here. It does cut, even though it doesn't have wheels, it does have these, these carrying handles and to just carry it with one handle is a doozy uh like i said the thing's 55 pounds it's pretty heavy uh on the back here you have your pairing button which you push when you're pairing obviously if you want to add a second speaker uh stereo is here and then your group play to add multiple speakers then you have a couple usb ports usually these usbs a lot of times are for charging your device but every now and then, the LGs have it where you can actually put a playlist on a flash drive, plug it in here, and play right off a of USB. Uh, I would imagine this is what this speaker has because the USB came up in the front when I was flipping through the functions. So I would say that these USBs will accept playlists, and you can play right off of them. Uh, then the microphone connections. So you got two microphone connections. You have a, an auxiliary port, which every wireless speaker should have one it makes a big difference playing through the auxiliary port rather than playing bluetooth you'll find any speaker is a lot more clear when you use that cable uh, then your microphones each have an independent volume and an echo you can turn the echo up and down on the mic i'm not going to demonstrate that um you know, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure that out. So that's basically it for features on this speaker. Like I said, it doesn't have a ton of features. It sounds okay, but with the lack of features and the lack of bass, I think it's overpriced. Uh, here's the remote. It's a pretty nice remote. I mean, you know, nothing extravagant about it. Doesn't do a whole lot of stuff. It looks like you can adjust the tempo of the song if you're playing along. Uh, singing along rather which I haven't really played with and then there is different sound modes you can adjust um, basically the onboard equalizer you can adjust that <laughs> all yeah, right so let's start this over here so when it connects to my iPhone you'll see it Hop, pops up right here it says robert's iphone which is a neat feature but i'd rather not spend my money on dumb stuff like that i'd rather have better sound than than a dumb little feature like that um my opinion again it's neat it's cool but i wish the speaker did did a little more in the way of um, sound and cool features so let's go with something with a little bass uh the Volume will go up to 50. I have the phone all the way turned up. So we're just going to put the speaker halfway. The dynamic bass is on. So the little bass boost is on. And you can see at this low volume, it sounds good. It actually sounds nice and low. Yeah, listen to this thing thump. Yeah, it goes real low at this halfway volume, but if you crank it up, it loses some. It's a nice sounding speaker. I just, I think it's it's too much money. Um, 
I had the LG, if you watch the videos on the channel, I had the LG next to this thing, a side-by-side -side comparison. And the LG's um, eight inch woofer just kicked this thing's butt. So there's the DJ effect noise. Filter, she could adjust the levels on the remote. So pretty, not, not much to it, crush. Ooh, that just sounds awful. Chorus, yeah, I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah, so they don't really do that much and they're kind of hard to use. They could have left all those features off. Um, yeah, I don't know why you would want that stuff, but whatever. Yeah, I think they could have let, left the, the DJ features off and lowered the price of the speaker a bit. Sound mode, yeah, see, so it's standard. Yeah, so there is an onboard preset equalizer. I usually don't like the onboard preset equalizers. I'd rather have an EQ that I can adjust. Okay, so it has, you know, seven or eight onboard preset equalizer settings. Um, I'm not a fan of the preset equalizer. I'd much rather have an equalizer I can set up myself. Uh, but it, it does work. It does make a difference when you change the settings on there. The reason that says scaler is that's the name of the little jam that's playing right now. So that's a, again, it's a neat feature, but uh, I would prefer a cheaper speaker than to have features that don't really, don't really do much for the functionality of the speaker. Um, like I said, it's a decent speaker. I personally wouldn't spend that kind of money on it, but if you're a Samsung fan and you like Samsung and this is something you're interested in, I'm sure you'll love the speaker. I just, I just can't see spending that kind of money on it. But uh, it's been a lot of fun to play with. I've enjoyed playing with it. But for me, the LG is still the ultimate winner. I haven't found a speaker yet that, that beats the two LGs I tried, the OK99 and the OK75. And this thing is louder than the LG OK75, but the bass is way more powerful on the LG. Uh, this is also more in the LG OK99 price range. Um, and the LG OK99, I don't even think you'd be able to hear this speaker over top of the, of the 99. But that said, those speakers have been discontinued. So um, this may be the speaker for you. Stay tuned, y'all, because I am going to get the LG 550 watt. Uh, I believe they call it the X-Boom. It's a little battery powered. It's, it's kind of like the Party Box 300. Uh, it's about that size. Uh, I'm going to get that thing, and that's going to be the next speaker I review, and I'm really excited about it because I've had so much luck with the LGs. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's very important. And uh, I appreciate you all watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.